Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial series on using your new iPad, iPad 101. Now today we're going to take a look at the mail application and setting up an email address there. Now you can see here the mail application is in the dock. By default that's where it's going to be. We can move it out of there if we want to. Now you can also see this little red badge sitting on the top right corner of the mail icon. That tells us how many unread messages we have right now. As you can see, I'm not really keeping on top of my inbox right now. Now we can tap this icon to launch the mail application. If we haven't already set up an email account, which I have, but I'll show you uh, how to go about setting up an email account. We go in here, we go into Mail, Contacts and Calendars, and we select Add Account. Now this is actually the screen that we'll be seeing in the mail application if we don't have an email account set up. So this is the screen you'll see when you first launch the, uh, the mail application. Now it's really painfully simple. We select from um, the available options here, if we have a Microsoft Exchange, MobileMe, Gmail, uh, account, anything like that. We can just tap on the appropriate um, icon. We can also choose other if, if it's, say, a, a, an email account that we get from our internet service provider or a work account or something like that. So we can tap on add mail account. All we really need to do here is add in our name. Now this is the name as we want it to appear at the top of our messages. So in this case I could put Andrew Moore Crispin or I could put uh, Andrew Tutorial or I could put anything there. It really doesn't matter. That's just the name that people will see when you email them. The email address, you need, to in, you need to input your email address exactly as it's been given to you. So for example, andrew at butterscotch.com. Password is the password that you either set when you set up your uh, email account in the first place or the password that was given to you by your network administrator. And description is just what we use to, so we can see when we're looking at our inboxes, which inbox we're going to be actually entering into. So we could say work account or personal account or mom's account or dad's account or anything like that. Now we'll go back into the mail application and we have our email address already set up. So now we can see here, this is, looks very much like email on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You can see, you can scroll through the message here, we have, uh, we have an email message open here. But we can also tap on inbox and we actually get a look at uh, all the messages that we have sitting, sitting in our inbox right now. Now one thing that's unique to the iPad and it actually makes using email on the device a lot easier is that if we have screen lock turned off and we flip the device into landscape mode, now you can see we have an always on, uh, we have always on access to our inbox here. So we can select new messages as we go through. So let's say we're going to see what, uh, what Jenna has to say here. We can go and read the message or we can choose to move it into a folder. All we need to do in this case is tap on the folder and the, e and the email will actually be moved out of our inbox into that folder. Or we could choose to delete and the email will be sucked up into the trash can there. Now the arrow icon allows us to reply or forward the email to someone. If it was sent to multiple people, we'd also see an option here for reply to all. So we just tap that and it would open up the uh, email message as a forward or as a reply. Now this button here, the notepad with the pencil, allows us to compose a new message. So we can type in the email address we want to send it to, or we can tap on the plus icon here to actually access our uh, contact book, which will be synced through iTunes if we already have an, uh, an email or a calendar, sorry, an address book set up on our Mac or PC. Now you see here, it says, uh, by default it says sent from my iPad. It's probably something you're going to want to change unless you want to uh, do some free advertising for Steve Jobs and the crew. Choose not to save this message. So let's go have a quick look at how to change our email signature. It's in the settings, so we tap on settings. And you see here another uh, multi-panel interface that, uh, that happens on the, on the iPad. So we want to go into mail, contacts, and calendars. Now we tap down here, you can see under the signature section, sent from my iPad. So all we need to do is tap on that. We can actually go and delete all this text and type in uh, our own signature. So in this case, I'll just put butterscotch. Butterscotch.com. Or we could also do things like add in our um, work email addresses, our telephone number, job title, shipping address, all that kind of stuff. We can just put that in here. And now every time we uh, 
every time we create a new email, which I'll show you now, if we were to create a new email, then we see our new signature appears right there, and that will appear on every email message we send. So that's a quick look at how to use email and the split screen interface on the iPad. And that concludes part three of our iPad 101 series. Be sure to hit up butterscotch.com to check out the show notes and to watch all the parts. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.